ahead and just use some white gesso and prime the page. By the way, you can do this in watercolors. I am not, you don't have to do this in acrylics. You can do this in watercolors. I kind of thought about watercolors, but then last minute I just switched. So you can do what I'm doing in watercolors. You don't need to prep and prime the page with gesso. Don't do that. That would not do go well for you. But uh, anytime I do a Wednesday live, I'm a member of your artful journey. And I love it. Yeah. We just we just create up the wazoo. Okay, I was mentioning that yes, every um, you can do that. Joanne says I set up for watercolors. So here's the thing. Uh, on Wednesdays, I don't prep. I don't think. I mean, I think about my mood. Am I dark? Am I happy? Am I light? Am I skipping? Am I? Um, but in general, I just paint from the space I'm in. So that's exactly what I'm doing. There is no supply list, but there will be a supply list when I'm done. You can get that under my website at free tutorials. Okay, so if you're interested in that, you can get it. Now I am going to paint my background in greens. I don't care if you do the bottom in greens and then the top in blues. Uh, most of the products I'll be using, I do sell on my website. I'm going to go with the media paints. You can use craft paints. You can use what you have. Nobody needs to go buy anything special. Uh, that's not how this works. Definitely not how I'm all about use what you have because y'all, some of you are buying stuff uh, and not using it. So let's just do a fake sky and let's just do a fake grass. Okay, this is green gold. This is the media paint. Just pick out a lime green, a kiwi green. Okay. Let's add like a Let's add another green to it just because just you can pick anything out, okay? Don't worry about me. Don't worry. This is literally how I create. All weekend I was working on that project that I had to turn in and I was just, I really research things and find the meaning of things and give you something more I talk and I really had to, the, the subject matter was finding your inner badass. And I really took that to heart. So it's, it's been a long time to try and find mine. I mean, I don't know that I found it, but chances are dark green, dark green. Just a little bit of, <laughs> I know people are literally like, this is what I, signed up for it's free i'm just we're just having fun create from the space you're in oops i just splashed water all over oops i'm splashing more water all over why do i have to be so messy tonight oh carol cook is purchasing so carol you better come up oh i hope carol likes uh puppies so the journal is spoken for. And were you able to email that link for the membership to me? I'm sorry, I probably, oh, there's some green in there. Maybe we should throw some white. Just We're just making like a, just throw some titanium white in there. I don't care if it's gesso, hold on. My paints are everywhere right now because I have so many projects going. So thank you, Anne. Anne, by the way, is the community ambassador of your artful journey, and we all love her. She called me this week, or she messaged me this weekend in a panic, and we got it solved. We got the problem solved. It wasn't. It was nothing bad. It was just you know we, just, well, we need to deal with something, and she was just just love her to death because she loves. She cares so much, and I love that. By the way, you could do the same thing just in watercolor and let things spread around. Baby wipe, okay? Baby wipe. Oops. Baby wipe. Smudge it. Smudge it and have fun with it, okay? Carol, are you sure you want this paint? No. It's going to be fun. Okay? I love 
let me some blues and some whites. Let's just go ahead and go up the page and use the rest of the paint. Just a baby wipe. And it's very awesome. I, I um, have the thing because I do work. And I always say, like, your team has to have the same passion that you do for what you do in order for things to be successful. And I am training 30-year-olds and below. And I realized, I don't know, I'm, this is not an age thing. It's not an age thing, but maybe it is an age thing. How do you teach people to have passion? Like, especially for somebody else's company. Not my own. I work for somebody else. And I was, I questioned that. Like, how do you harness somebody to care? Oh, she did. She does have, okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to need, uh, uh, let's see if I can, uh, and it would still be easier. I'm sorry to bother you to just throw that in an email to me because then I can share it and it'll go out on all platforms. Thank you. She's like, yeah, you just sprung that on me. All right. So we have a background. Yeah. We want to make sure you get that 50% if you're interested. Uh, we have a background now we need flowers, whether these are red poppies or posies or whatever, I don't know. So I just, this is what, this is scrap paper that I had outside. So I am going to cut it up. I'm going to cut it up. Cut it up, cut it up. See if I can make something that is relatively round. Ooh. I don't know what shape that is. Huh. Okay. E. Nelson. Thank you, Anne. If you're wondering what this shape is, I always love it when people say, I can't draw a stick figure. And I'm like, no, you're not going to need to with me. We're just going to, we're going to make a flower. Oh, yeah, that looks like a flower. Okay. Let's do. You might be able to teach people passion by leading by example. If not, forget to move on. Um, I firmly believe that, Denise, because I've always said I'm not going to ask somebody to do something that I'm not willing to get in the trenches and do myself. So I firmly believe that. I, I do believe that. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee, coffee. All right. I just did three sizes. I actually cut these two out. Like, okay, look, we made a flower. These can be watercolor, by the way. This is watercolor paper. That's watercolor paper. But you know, I'm all feeling pyro red. And they don't have to have two, they can have two. Okay. I know I just went crazy on this. Like, where is she going with this? We'll find it. We'll find where I'm going with this. Nobody says you can't put watercolor on top of this. Yeah, I'm really big by about, like, if I'm not willing to do it or leading by example and saying, if I can't, if I'm not going to do it, why would I expect somebody else to do it? I'm not a... But if it's not my job, I gotta have to. These are some wonky flowers, man. Okay. And don't worry, they can go, oh, they can go right off the page. You know why? Because we can go off the page. Carol, we're just going crazy today. I do want three flowers, so I don't know like how I'm going to get another one out of this, but let's do it. Let's try it. I also believe that comedy or like comic relief is important at work and a compliment sandwich. If you have, oh, this is a heart. 
Carol, we're going to put a heart in here because it looks like a heart and I'm all over it. By the way, when I do this, I offer on Wednesday nights sometimes. I'm just using watercolor paper. It can be mixed media paper. I just, I'm putting that heart in there, Cheryl. So um, you may be wondering, uh, the, a few months ago I started doing this. I will paint the first page of your art journal. If you order an art journal for me, and then there's a little pop-up window that says, would you like Tracy to paint the first page? The answer is yes, I will. There's a cost associated with me doing that. Um, there is a cost, uh, and, uh, let's see, if you decide to do, okay, good, I did get it. Oh, good, it's 1850, y'all didn't correct me in my math. Thanks for doing that. Nobody corrected me when I said, what was it, $37? Um, it's a pop-up window, it's $25, it's not expensive, um, and sometimes if you order and place an order and somebody placed an order for paints and then she wanted me to, in a journal, and she wanted me to paint the first page of her journal, I used the paint she ordered because then I figured it would inspire her to use the paint she ordered. Okay. Whether we do three layers, one layer, two layers, throw a button. Uh, can I make it three-dimensional, Carol? I never asked this. This is not a thing I ask. I don't ask people, how do you want me to paint this for you? I just do it. But anyway, Carol happens to be here. Um, well, that always happens here and everywhere Tracy shows up. It's kind of like my thing. You're not going to never let them see a sweat. So I'm in a high uh, pressure job. So I have to really, I have to laugh. Otherwise, I'd probably go. Ape crazy. All right, so we have all these. Carol's gonna let me throw some buttons in here, I hope. She probably tuned out and said, forget that. Anyway, so um, now people have wind of it. I did it, I started it, and now people are ordering it before I even get online. But she said, just do what you want. I have create. that's the part of this too. I get creative license. I don't find out what your favorite color is, what your dog's name is, or, um, Anything like that. I just go for it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's the fun of this. Pyro red. Get some red and get some orange and get some yellow. Okay. Or do magenta. Do whatever you want. That's Carol said, okay, do whatever I want. But that heart, where's that heart? That has to be painted in pyro red because I just painted a heart by accident and I didn't even know it. I'm gonna paint both sides of this because, oops, because I am. And this is just an old. Um, I also believe that in addition to leading by example, making others feel valued and appreciated goes a long way. Not having unrealistic expectations, totally agree. I always say we're human and we're only capable of so much. And um, you want people to work to their their strengths and not go at them for their weaknesses. And there's no sense in doing that, uh, which is something that I try to lead by. Yeah. Yes. I'm feeling mellow. If you're wondering why I'm painting the back, I kind of feel like some of this is going to curl up. So I just thought it would be a good idea to paint and the back. That's just something that this isn't really not what I planned, but I feel like it's going to work. You could also, by the way, Dare to be artsy is tuning in. I have a line of stamps with Dare to be artsy. You could be using flowers from stamps, such as, now this is only gonna work with my stamps, I'm kidding. But if you wanna cut out, this would have been a really good idea. Just stamp them and cut them out. Y'all buy stuff, use them, okay? Just mix it up. 
Uh, for me, art is a form of like meditation, relaxation. I'm probably one of the most relaxed people you'll ever meet. Total, see, there we go. See, it helps when you mention, we should just do all stamping. And then I'll ask Dare to be RT. Could you give a little, you know what, um, Cindy, I should ask if you'll sponsor a giveaway for your Artful Journey members for our monthly motivation not to put her on the spot. We should do a set of her stamps. Oh, sorry, I just started randomly throwing paint down anywhere I felt. I love to put people on the spot. It's like my part-time job. <laughs> she said she'll total it. <laughs> Hello, Cindy. Thank you. Maybe next month. And would you remind me that I uh, I put Cindy on the spot? It made her feel uncomfortable because. <gasps> Jules. Who just joined your artful journey? Oh, we're going to welcome you in. She is going right in. Am I doing more yellow or more red? Just, uh, you don't have to paint the whole back. I just am going nutty. And it'll help it dry because I'm throwing it down on a towel. I'm just using all the paint. Don't worry. If this doesn't turn out, I'll just go paint curl something else. But she asked for it sight unseen. She asked for it before I even started painting it, and she even knew what I was painting. I should have said I was going to put a rhinoceros on here. And then she'd really be up. She... That's a really great idea. You know what? Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, your artful journey started in 2019, and I was on a path of um, uh, rebuilding my life. And so that membership is my home base, my place, my happiness. And art truly has gotten me through some of life's hardest times. So if you're uh, it's the best times and the worst of times, it's like a Mark Twain movie. All right. And we can add some little fine details to this. I know this looks kind of crazy, but I do have a thought of where this is going. I'm just using all the paint I have at this point and just, there we go. Yeah, we do giveaways. I go live twice a month um, for Q&A. And basically, we you have a monthly lesson, two lives, discounts on your artful journey, or any orders that you place in my shop. Okay, what else? Do I have any more? Okay, good. All right. Um, and don't worry. The good news is about drying this with a paper towel or with a with the uh, towel. Yeah, I just show, throw these in my dish or in my uh, washing machine, not my dishwasher. That'd be silly. Um, and that's how this this is just drying faster. Oh, I love this. And it's giving it a little pattern. Coolio. I just like that that's a heart. Okay. I'm very lucky to work with some amazing companies and partner with them. And one of them has been, um, Kimberly, what? Oh, look at this. I love that. Whatever is on my dirty towel is now rubbing off on my flowers. And I am A-OK -okay with that. Now, while these are wet and you don't mind your hands getting dirty, I am just going to crumble them all up. We need. Okay. When they ask me about doing a sale, my son is calling. Joey, I'm sorry. I'm live. Can I call you back? I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. Sorry, I have a rule when the kids call. I almost think that something. 
and they kind of know that on Wednesdays. Are... Okay, just go ahead. Go ahead. I told you we're going to have fun, Deborah. She's like, who the heck expected we're now going to crumble up all of these things? Yeah, go ahead. And then just flatten them out. And they're drying, and they add a little bit of texture and fun. And I actually like that the, okay, look at that. And then after Carol gets this, she can, like, I could seal each one of these and really get them. But, okay. This side, I just put that on the ground. I haven't done this in a little while, so this feels good. Okay. And don't worry, this one is going to have like the heart. It's got to be the heart. I don't want to cover that heart because that was purposeful. It wasn't an accident. Okay, we have fair parts. Oh, no, we don't. Look at that. Okay, done. Now I'm going to go ahead and commit to this. Right after we draw liner brush, black paint. Oh, this is really not where I planned on being. And this was not what I actually thought we were going to do, which is okay. That's okay. It's, I'm looking for the liner brush that I, hmm. Oh, glad I'm not committed to that. Um, because I just messed it up. Mm-hmm. Black paint, just some black, carbon black will do you. Now, through your artful journey, I've learned some things. Yes, my home spot seems to be an art journal. It's kind of what I'm known for, but I never let that be the space um, that I stay in. Like, I'm not stuck in the art journal. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. That's going there, that's going there, and that's going there, and that's going there. And I don't have to use every bits of this. Just, you kind of get the gist of it. All right. Um, I don't know if I dumped that paint out. Or... But I always have this thought that once you have this idea book and you have the Pones to create in this space, you can create in so many other spaces. So let's draw some stems. Okay, that one's going there. That one's going there. I don't want to smear this paint. All right, just, just some spent steps. You can cut them out of paper. I don't mind. I just want to like to kind of commit and put things where I think they're going to go. And then I'm going to draw some, oh, whoops, some leaves. Okay. Well, you have too much paint on your brush. You have too much paint on your brush. That's okay. You do this with a plastic pen. If, if you're not, this is not your, I don't really, I'm too afraid. Uh, I tell with your Artful Journey members to use Wednesday night as practice to just go for it. So that's really the space I create from is just, let's go for it. It's just a, it's just a science experiment. Let's have fun. And you can paint right off onto that painter's tape. Don't worry about that. Good. 
Okay, we do want that to dry because I don't want to be rubbing that all over the place. I'm going to grab out a stamp pad, just black. Ranger will do, it's permanent. This is going to get like a, a glossy sheen to it. I hope uh, not a thick for the first page. Carol, I'm really picking this journal a lot. I'll try to use something thin to do the insides of a button, but I just like to go crazy. How much time are we going to do? We just have to go outside and make um, a bunch more of the hearts. <laughs> Put them in a package for you all now. I didn't. That was not my plan. I don't mind them deviating from the plan. Well, I got paint all over my hands. But... All right, well, that's drying. Why did I grab that stamp pad? Well, I'm just going to do this with my funky posies. Oops, that's a little much. Don't worry. She says, I love crazy. Mo crazy, mo better. Okay, Carol, you're my people. <laughs> We're okay. She's given me carte blanche on create. She right away said, I'm in this to win it. I don't care what you do. This heart, though, means a lot to me. That's a pyro red heart that I'll throw some hearts in your. I'm going to have to go. We're going to have to call those a bag full of hearts. I just love all the words that you gave because I was trying to come up with words and I was thinking when you're trying to think of words, it doesn't come, it doesn't come as easy as you think. All right. Now, Carol, I really want to, I'm going to seal these things before I even glue them down. You don't have to, oops, by the way, I like that side better. I just went a little crazy. So for those of you who say you can't draw a stick figure, if you can't cut these out, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. I just made this incredibly easy to do something. This can be done with kids. I don't want my pen to. Oh, oh, sorry, I probably got pink my nose. And I am going to have these going right off the page. There's nothing wrong with that. But I am going to come in here with some more stamp ink. Just, there's a green. This is called Rustic Wilderness. Do I have a blue? Oh, wait, this one's peel paint. That one, uh, eh, eh. Let's do this one. This one's called Mermaid Lagoon in Rustic Wilderness. Okay. I personally like Ranger Archive. Arca archival ink pads because they are uh, waterproof and they're not going to go running off the page when you go to seal this. So I am just going to come in here and, oh, should we put some clouds in the sky? I could do that. Do we need clouds in the sky or do we just say, okay, you're fine? Well, this goes back to my mixed media Monday days. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. So I'm just, to, oh, yeah, I didn't even paint to the edge over here. I was just a, I didn't even paint to the edge of the tape. If you want some clouds, I can put some clouds in. I, I kind of like the, hmm. All the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky. Who's painting with me tonight? Because everybody's a little tired. I need to know. Clouds, no clouds. I could just put a couple in, or I can just ditch that idea because it's such a beautiful sunny day. Clouds, no clouds. Okay, Polly's painting. Clouds, no clouds. Clouds? 
no clouds. Well, I am making, oh, this is, <laughs> would you all like to know how a stencil brush is made? Because I just tore mine apart. No clouds. We got a no clouds. So, okay, I am sorry. You have reached your time of death. Call it. Call it time of death. 621 on that stencil brush. Probably lasted me 10 years. I'd like to see how you add them. Sure, I can do it. Titanium white. Believe it or not, this is all dry right here. So I'm just going to take the stencil brush. Y'all don't have stencil brushes. They're just great. Pounce them down. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Pounce off. So you don't want it to be. And then I'm just going to come in and just do some light clouds. You can use your fingers. A lot of people like to do that. I personally just like this method. And I just round them out. All the leaves are brown on the ground. I need more paint. I better, I, I got called to a last minute lunch today and I have literally had to take sweatpants off and go run to a, a really nice lunch. I had a lovely lunch. And um, it was just a last minute call from work. I had the best salad ever. I don't need to go too crazy. So let's start gluing. I am going to use zip dry. I find this dries fairly quickly. Where did my heart, where did my everything go? And we're going to hope I can still take this tape off by, well, I'm sure I can. I, I'm sure I'll be able to. Let's do this. Let's do that. Line her up. Well, I don't, I'm just going to go smaller here. There we go. There we go. That guy is the star of the show right there, right there in the middle. I really like zip dry. It just seems to works really well. And it dries lickety splitty. So it gives you time to move stuff around. So don't worry about that. I'm going to kind of make sure this is really glued down so Carol doesn't lose half of this because and you have time to adjust things. There's that heart right in the middle so I can move stuff around for a little bit. Oops, don't glue. Whatever you do, do not glue it to that. I'm going to just move it off a little bit. I don't want to glue it to the tape. That would not be recommended. Okay. Just pulling that away. Ah! Oh, oh. Okay, sorry. Oh, back in. Back in action. Sorry, just got a little bit of glue. We're good. Brace is averted. Don't glue it to the tape. Not a good thing. Move that over. Move that down. Move it over. Move it down. Okay. You can, you can put things between things. Just, okay. Now put the lid on the glue so you don't. Okay. I'm going to now use my fingers to hold stuff down. Don't worry, all this is going to be sealed. Okay, oops, glue down, glue down, don't glue to there. And I need more fingers. Can somebody come hold this for me? Shoot, that's cool. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to sit here until, oh, no. I kind of got glue just there. Let's just do this now. Denise said, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Denise. Happy you're here too. Okay. 
I don't know what the dry time is, but I just don't want it to go anywhere. Okay. It's not going anywhere. Okay. And I am feeling this. So. All right. I have to go in my... Um, you all have a button supply like I do. Okay. Oh, ain't she pretty? Okay. I love that. I don't know if I thought I... It seems like I hit the mother load on buttons, so that's kind of cool. I don't want to cover that heart too much. Okay. I don't seem to have orange, but I can do... Oh, wait. These are going to be in these buttons. Time to go raid your grandmother's sewing closet. Okay. I got to make sure that's glued down. I feel like that needs yellow. I feel like that needs yellow. And I feel like it needs a bigger yellow. Look at this one. It's shaped like a flower. All right. I feel like those are too similar. So hold on. I'm being really picky here. Does that work for everybody? Did I increase the size of this one? Because it's the star of the show? Yes. Okay. Okay. Miracle what a button will do to cheer up your day. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to. I love buttons. Buttons are fantastic. All right, I gotta make sure everything is glued down before I go gluing anything. We're gonna need some grass, just decided that. Okay, pushing down. I'm gonna get me a glass of wine, please, while I wait for this to dry. Now I'm going to glue. This will work good because I'm, I am, uh, it dries clear. So we're just going to stick that right there very gingerly. Make sure everything is down. Okay. That pyro red heart still. My little nephew's word for Christmas was button. Really? I love the word button. Ooh, I'm going to put that back. It's even prettier at that point. Ooh, I think this needs more glue. Okay. This is going to need a second to dry. Oh, don't slide around, people. I will seal this. Y'all, I'm so excited. We got new members here are returning. Wait till you see next month's drawing bonus. I already did it. I love it. Anne's allowed to go sneak peek it if she wants. Okay. My hands are starting to stick together. I just want to make sure this guy's down. This is so like off the charts of what I was going to do, but I just started doing it and I just wanted to finish it. Okay. Very good. You're very good. It'll dry. Trust me. I ain't going anywhere. All right. Last thing. I'm going to put some grass. Try to get the um, tape off without the flowers coming off. Of course, I could be less uh, impatient. I'm going to do the green. The green. Where's the green? The dark green. And that the green I used for the background, and I'm just going to take a room key. Oh, I'm sticking to everything. Just a room key. Doris is a member of. Oh wait, hold on. That that stencil brush left little bristles. Okay, so ooh, I don't want that on my good clear frame. Oh, get out of there. Okay, here we go. 
I'm just going to put some grass in. I'm going to try to do this without. Oh, I know what I'll do. I don't want to get it on. I didn't put my I didn't put my tape to the edge of the paper, so that's okay. You just do it now. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go into the green and the um the two greens that I have and just put some um very thick grass in there. People are going to be, how did you do that? I can do a whole painting with a room key. I've done it before in a hotel room. I was challenged to do it and I accepted the challenge. And it looked cool. Okay. There we go. Really thick grass. <sighs> Now, I don't know how we're going to get that. Oh, we love this one. Welcome, Doris. It's a great space. Yes, welcome, Doris. By the way, Doris, you'll just be able to get in and start painting like crazy. I'm just holding things down. Starting to really set now. I'm going to spray this with a spray sealer and just spray the heck out Um, I just, uh, she's popping up. I'm gonna I want to seal this now because I want to take off the tape and I want you all to see it. Can you guys hang for five more minutes? Because I really want to share with this. I like taking the tape off live. It's just part of the process that I love the most. Y'all can't draw stick figures, but you can make paper posies. Do I always seal before lifting the tape? No. Sometimes I do it after, but I cover things. Like, I don't want to seal the rings. I like to keep the rings clean because I'm a clean. Also, I'm going to put a little tape over the buttons because I don't want anything, like, residue-y on top of that. Um, I just I could have done this after. I just realized. I'm just going to take a little piece of tape, though. That's not going to harm anything. And just put it over the buttons. Nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to know. That way I don't spray and put plastic on top of that. I mean, only Doris is good. I mean, only Carol's going to know because Carol's books go on Carol. It, it will dry. I usually wait a few days, too, depending on what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm just going to cover that up. I like everything to dry. Like Carol's not going to get this right away. I wait a few days. So if you order custom paintings for me, I usually wait two or three days before they sit out and they dry and cure. The difference between drying and curing is a big difference. Cure means it's set. But because I'm doing a really quick demo and I want you guys to see the outcome of things, the effect of taking the tape off is amazing and I do need to do this in a well ventilated area so I typically run outside and do it which is what I'm going to do if you don't mind I will list the sealer in my materials list because you don't want to spray in a closed right now everything's closed because it's very cold outside so if you don't mind I'll just run you can um, listen to some music. I'll start singing. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need, oh, I need a bucket. I need a bucket. All right. Intermission popcorn. Ooh, popcorn sounds good. I just sent my kids care pack. Speaking of which, my son did not thank me for the care package I sent him. <laughs> That's why he was calling. It better the girls, it better be why he was calling me. Okay. I'm just cleaning all the paper so that I can. I sent care packages to my kids. One of them got a thing of popcorn and the other one got beef jerky. I'm guessing the girl got the popcorn and then oh, I didn't use this. Okay. The girl, my daughter. Alrighty. But I would. I haven't taken the tape off yet. All right, because we got to be careful. I got to be careful when I'm taking the tape off. Just warming up the tape. Oh, I have to peel off the other tape too, didn't she? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yep, slide right underneath. Helps to warm that tape up a little bit if it's been on for a little bit. And also if you've sealed it, gessoed over the top of it, all that other stuff. And just keep in mind, if you're interested in your artful journey, our group is so amazing. Um, I do things in watercolors and acrylics. So most of the stuff I teach, you can do it, you know, uh, you can choose the lessons. I'm deep diving into everything. But I don't work in, um, I don't really do a lot of work in oils, just so you know. So I just want this to dry. Oh, I really want this tape off of here. So let me do that. And then let me do this. Don't, don't interrupt. Stay there. Ah, oh, isn't she a beaut? Now, you might be wondering, why are you running that? It really does help to kind of straighten things out and to go on the opposite. Okay, now we're going to sign it. To Carol. Thank you for purchasing this before you even knew what I was drawing. Okay. Um, I'm going to go out and do the words. So if you had word ideas. Uh, by the way, I will list all of the supplies. I typically, that's why they're all going in a bin. This goes on my website under free tutorials, Tracy Weinsaffel Studios. This is from Michigan. Um, so let me give you that link to my website. Also, if you're interested in buying, I will announce. Okay, there's another word. Play. Um, I'm going to give the link one more time. If you're interested in joining your artful journey with the first month at 50% off, you can cancel at any time. There is that link.